Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another Streetwear Talk episode. And in today's episode, we're going to be covering all the items that are releasing in Del Schutz's Black Friday capsule. <laughs> oh, guys. So, um, yeah, this is a bit of a nightmare. Um, so what happened originally was is that this was meant to be video four. Today, I know I was actually planning to do four videos. What video number three was going to be was going to be an attempted live cop on the upcoming Air Jordan 4 Fire Reds because that is what I'm overly keen for to release essentially this weekend. Um, my dumbass thought that it released today, Friday the 27th. Only did I find out by going on to nike.com.au that it releases on the 28th. <laughs> so I held off doing this video because I was like, yeah, 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 I'm going gonna, gonna to wait for the Fire Red Force to come out. It's fine. It's fine. I check and it said 28th of the 11th. And I was like, what's the date today? What's the, honestly, what's the date today? Check the watch. 27th. So I'm 24 hours too early to the drop. And it drops on a Saturday. Oh, jeez, guys. I literally have no chance of picking up the Fire Red 4s because I'm going to be out with the fellas on Saturday. I am not going to be sitting at home 10 p.m. Australian time trying to go for the Fire Red 4s. So I guess the positive is you get your Del Schutzer video fast-tracked to you guys. So it's video three today, but oh, jeez, what an absolute nightmare that is. And yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to get the Fire Red 4s tomorrow because... I'm gonna be chilling with, with the fellas, and I, they're gonna. I'm just gonna forget that it's gonna even hit 10 o'clock, and then they're gonna drop. So yeah, <sighs> let's get into it, guys. So for video three today, we're gonna be covering, as I just mentioned, Del Schutz's Black Friday capsule. Now this is a big one. This is a big one. Normally, Del Schutzer for their capsules, they release one or two pieces, maybe a hoodie and some joggers, maybe a tee and some joggers. But for Black Friday, they are going all out. We are getting a varsity jacket. We're getting, I think, two Akira pieces and a secret little fourth item, which we will showcase as well. We're going to cover all four of the items, all three of the Instagram posts that Del Schutzer has done. And I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on them all. And I think I'm still going to go with the same vibe of I'm not going to cop any of them because even though I say I'm not going to be able to get the fours, I'm still going to try. <laughs> I'm going to be on my phone hanging out with the fellas. They're going to be talking to me. I'm like, no, no, it's 10 o'clock. Hold up. I'm, I'm busy for a second. That's exactly what's going to happen. So I'm going to hold off from this Devil Schutzer release. There are some crazy pieces though, and we're still gonna cover them today, even though I'm not going for them, because a lot of you guys have been hitting me up in the comment section asking for me to cover them. So we're gonna do it, let's do it. Let's head on over to Del Schutz's Instagram page and start covering the Black Friday capsule. Of course, as always guys, if you want to access their Instagram, I'm gonna link it down in the description section below and you can check it out there. But the three posts that we're gonna be checking out today is this Varsity Jacket post, as this is part of the capsule, same with the middle Akira post here, and same with the final fourth teased item over here as well. All the items showcased in these three posts are gonna be releasing on Friday the 27th, <laughs> not the 28th like I thought, which is Black Friday. So yes, guys, uh, this will be interesting. We'll get into it. So let's start off by diving into the first post, which is the Varsity Jacket here. Just one, the Varsity Jacket. Let's cover the first item that's releasing here. So first item of our Black Friday release, 27th of November, 6 p.m. CET time. Now, as always, if you are very confused on when that time zone is in your time, head over to Del Schutz's Instagram, head over to their uh, website linked in their bio, and it'll have a timer counting down to your time zone there. That's how you figure out when it drops in your time. From now, from as of recording this, it's gonna drop in about five hours, five, six hours. So, I mean, if you subscribed and have notifications on, I mean, you're getting the latest release details. <laughs> Not to uh, force anyone to do it there. 
But what we have here as the first item that is releasing is the Giants College Jacket in collaboration with Uheezy. And what I love is that it's said in like the most European way possible. Not American, not calling it exactly what it is. It's the College Jacket, aka Varsity Jacket, Letterman Jacket. <laughs> <laughs> that's the actual name of the jacket style but i just love it that they've gone with college jacket it's exactly what it is and they're not wrong in any way shape or form it totally is a jacket for college colleges used to always do them i don't know if colleges in america do them anymore but they used to always do them and have the uh you know the colleges logos on the front back maybe the mascot on the back they were for the you know the varsity athletes and stuff Full embroidered design, 400,000 stitches, 400,000 stitches. Their hoodies are like a couple of 10,000 stitches, right? The little box logo hoodies they do, like 40,000 stitches maybe, maybe a little bit less, a little bit more, depending on the hoodie. This is 400,000 stitches. This is not printed. This artwork you see on the chest right here, not printed at all it's full embroidery which i just have to commend them for that that is so much effort and if you paid someone to do this they're so lucky they have their own factory if you paid someone to do this in like australia in a, like anywhere where there's like really really high labor costs this would cost you so much money so much money to make so i feel like if anything they're probably losing money for the retail of 178 euros here it's just I, I i'm amazed that they're charging so little if you guys didn't know um palace's drop just released like half an hour ago and the varsity jacket in the ultimo collection was 700 pounds just to give you a comparison here this is less than 200 pounds it really puts it into perspective, doesn't it? In saying that though, the Palace one was a Golden Bear one, like there's all these other things that go into it, but this is a crazy good price for a Varsity jacket with this level of detail on it. One thing I gotta say that I love about the artwork straight away, the palette, a friend of mine said it, and I totally agree with him. It's got a very Adventure Time-esque palette to it of color. I really like it for that. I think it's really cool. It's really unique. I don't think there's anything going on on the back of the piece, but looking at it on body here as showcased by this model it's just sick it is just a sick piece i'm like really contemplating whether i skip on the fours and try and go for this piece but it's easily the best piece that i think they've released in a long time i think this is just such a sick piece Ugh, do i go for it or do i stay for the jordan fours <laughs> like that is just wow what a piece what a piece. I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, here's a close up of the embroidery done on the actual jacket itself. Very well done. You can see all the little intricate little details. It's, it's just awesome. It's just really, really awesome. I love the design. I think the Giants uh, varsity jacket is sick. Absolutely sick. And there you go. There's the iconic Del Schutzer logo right there. Awesome. Give me one in an extra large. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a super dope piece guys um definitely don't miss out on this oh maybe i should go for it i don't know man i'm so conflicted it's just such a good piece but this is the first piece that is releasing in their black friday capsule and i absolutely love it now now we'll head on over now now that we've had a look at this piece the retail is 178 uh, it's probably going to be about 15 to 20 bucks shipping it's a month delivery time though so it's going to take a while but that's okay uh yeah awesome awesome piece we'll move on now to the second post which is the akira pieces and we'll have a look at the akira pieces that are releasing in the black friday capsule now, this piece is actually quite interesting this one is um this is a throwback in a way uh this piece was actually showcased to us months ago i'm talking like six months ago a long long time ago talking about this being teased on reddit and then deleted and then no one has any other images of it but i got sent images of it by uh, one of you guys and yeah no uh it is just an awesome piece and i'm super happy to finally see it release but what we have here is uh the hoodie 
and also the third piece, which is a T-shirt. So we'll dive into what the art, uh, what the des description of the post has to say, then we'll get into it. So second and third item of Black Friday release are the Akira Tees in collaboration with Tonton Revolver. T-shirt in mineral white with red contrasting stitching and woven design. T-shirt in uh, N -trans Transic with CMYK print. 250 GSM, 100% cotton, same time as the Varsity Jacket. 27th of November, 6 p.m. CET time. Um, I gotta say, I'm really happy to see them do a t-shirt with an embroidered patch on it, like the this piece right here, because normally the tees are done in a printed, which the second one is, so we'll have a look at the second one here just to like give it an idea, so we can see some contrasting stitching done all around. And here's the print here of another Akira scene here. I've got to be real, I haven't actually watched the film as of yet. I've got it on um, on my hard drive, but I have not actually watched it. I need to get around it. I need to get around it because it's a classic and it's always uh, referenced in a lot of pop culture and a lot of streetwear releases. So I definitely do, do need to get around watching it in its entirety. I've only watched sections of it, so... I do need to get around it. I love both the pieces. I think the artwork on the front here is awesome, showcasing the city, which I think is Tokyo in 2020, if I'm correct. I don't know the full story behind the whole thing. Uh, and then we have another scene showcased here. Now, originally the teaser uh, image that I talked about that I covered like six months ago was done on a hoodie. So there's still potential for this to release in a hoodie form. I would not leave it to that. I would not be like, you know what, I'm going to skip out on the tee because Daniel said there's a hoodie that may come down the line. Yes, that's totally true. The hoodie may come down the line, but that doesn't mean they have to release it. So if you want this design here that I'm showcasing to you right now, definitely pick up the t-shirt because we don't know if the hoodie's ever going to release. But uh, yeah, some awesome second and third pieces here for a lot of Akira fans that have been asking for this for a while. Uh, and they're done on really high quality 250 GSM, 100% cotton t-shirts. They're going to be really, really heavy. Probably something you can't wear in spring or summer. More winter. I know they're going to be short sleeves and you're like, how can you wear a tee in winter? Well, 250 GSM is a heavy ass t-shirt. So maybe wear it on a cool day in spring or something like that, guys, because it's going to be a piece. But yeah, awesome second and third piece. Releasing same time, 27th of November, 6 p.m. CET time. We'll now head on over and have a look at the fourth and final piece releasing in this Black Friday capsule. Okay, now last but not least, we have the fourth item that is releasing in the Black Friday capsule, which is the Matrix hoodie in collaboration with ba Bacards. Bacards? It's um, going to release the same time, twenty seventh of the uh, November the six. Uh, sorry, twenty seventh of November, six p.m. CET time. Four hundred and eighty GSM, one hundred percent cotton. So they have been doing four hundred and eighty GSM hoodies as of late. I've seen on uh, Del Schutze Discussions Facebook post that someone messaged them and said, are you still doing 480 or are you going to continue doing 500? And they said in the future they're going to try and do 500 GSM hoodies. So it'll be good to see them return back to form in the future. But this is still a very, very high quality piece. Um, there's not too many brands out there that release 480 GSM hoodies for the price that they do. Uh, this is going to be just your typical, um, you know, cotton fleece hoodie. So a very winterized hoodie, not something you could wear in the warmer weather. It's definitely something you have to wear in the winter and colder seasons, but it's going to be an awesome quality piece. Uh, it features a graphic of a Matrix style character kicking somebody. I, it doesn't click to any scenes that I remember in the three films that have come out. It doesn't look like Neo. It doesn't look like Mr. Smith or any of the agents. I am a little bit confused on if it is referencing a scene because I don't remember a scene like this. Uh, if you guys remember, maybe it's from the Matrix anime, video games, something like that. But I don't remember this scene in particular, so I think it's just lightly or loose, more appropriately loosely based on the Matrix there. Uh, there's a showcasing of the graphic again. I kind of would have liked more detail on the face, but again, that's so hard to do with embroidery, so I'm not super fussy about it. I totally understand that's probably as detailed as they could get. It's a really solid piece. It looks like from the drawstring here, it's done on a navy hoodie, so uh, just be in pre preparation of that. This is not a black hoodie. 
judging from the drawstring here, it looks like a navy one. And even in the second photo, it looks very much like a navy hoodie. But it's an awesome fourth piece to release in this capsule. And I'm glad I kind of held off on this video because this piece wasn't teased to us until about 24 hours ago, 20 to 48 hours ago. So if I did this video earlier on, we would have missed out on those details there. But a very solid final piece to release there. Probably going to release for around 64 to 75 euros around about the price that I expected that Schutz a hoodie to release for. But that is it, guys. That is all three of the posts for Del Schutz's upcoming um, Black Friday capsule. That's all the pieces releasing in the capsule. For me, my favorite piece is the Giants Varsity Jacket over here. I love Varsity Jackets. You guys know I love that, like, American College style. So for me, um, that like speaks to me straight away. And with the recent disappointments that have been uh, the human made Girls Don't Cry Varsity Jacket, not because it's a horrible jacket, but because of the price tag. And the recent Palace uh, Shakespeare Varsity Jacket, which was just way too much out of my price range. This is one that's actually appealing to me because it's so cheap or so cheap. <laughs> like it's a good price, you know? Uh, yeah, I absolutely love it. I. Oh. I'll have to think about copying it guys no promises I'm th i'll think about it but yeah really solid piece this week guys uh, i want to hear all your thoughts and opinions on which is your favorite piece that is releasing in this black friday capsule down in that comment section below is it guys that is the black friday capsule covered uh releases obviously the 27th <laughs> of November. Uh, it releases 6 p.m. CET time. It's only a couple hours away, so definitely go over to Del Schutz's Insta uh, sorry, Del Schutz's website. Check out the timer there. You guys know my favorite piece, but I want to hear from you guys. Are you going to be picking anything up from this capsule? What's your favorite piece? What's your least favorite piece? Let me know. Let me know all your thoughts and opinions on Del Schutz's Black Friday capsule down in that comment section below. And of course, if you guys want me to keep covering upcoming Del Schutzer releases, upcoming, you know, uh, the Del Schutzer collaborations, don't forget to leave a big old like on this video, a comment in the comment section down below, and a subscribe to the channel as we are trying to aim for the new subscriber milestone this month, 2,770 subscribers. Hopefully with your continuous support, we can reach that milestone. We literally need less than 10, less than 10 subs, guys, and we'll get there. So subscribe today. Tell some mates, and we can definitely hit that milestone before the end of the month. But uh, that's everything I gotta say, guys, about uh, Del Schutz's Black Friday capsule. So, until the next Streetwear Talk video, until the next Del Schutzer video, until the next Drop List video, guys, I'll catch you later.